Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Mitchy Beats, and today we'll be breaking down how I made my newest beat on my YouTube channel. You can go check it out if you haven't already. Now, this video is going to be sort of like a tutorial video or a genius deconstructed type video. I stopped everything I was doing because I was staying up all night making beats. And I always tell my dad that, and he's be like, "Okay." Today we're going to be making a beat like Ski Mask the Slump God. The three main things that make Ski Mask's style so unique are his cartoony-like samples, his hard-hitting drums, and his distorted 808s. Now, let's get right into the cook-up. Hey, so the first thing I did was look for a sample. After browsing Vinyl Frontier for a bit, I came across this one Japanese sample that really stood out to me. I didn't really like the beginning part of the sample, so I only used a little bit of the middle. After putting the sample in the FL Studio, I chopped it, set it to 132 BPM, and pitched it down by two semitones. Here's how it sounds with no effects. I added an EQ to get rid of the lows at around 160Hz and the highs at around 6000Hz. I added a reverb to widen the sound, and I added isotope vinyl to add more of a natural feel to the sample. Here's how it sounds with effects added. To give the sample that extra heat, you know, the extra sauce, um, I rearranged it using Fruity Slicer to make my own unique pattern. Here's how it sounds. On this new sample, I added an EQ, I added a reverb, I added a delay with the widen preset, I added another reverb, I added saturation knob, which is a free plugin that basically just gives the melody more warmth, I added a free limiter to sidechain with the kick, and I added a stereo enhancer to make the sound more wide. The reason why I have two reverbs on this channel is because one of them is meant to give the sample more depth in the mix, while the other one is meant to make the sample more wide in the mix. In most of my beats, I usually always put this type of reverb on the melody of the sample channel. To achieve this type of reverb, turn the size all the way down, turn the difference so that the little thing over here looks like a pentagon, turn the decay all the way down, and then turn the damp all the way down. A good way to hear what this technique is actually doing to your melody is to turn the dry knob all the way down and listen. When you turn the dry knob back up, you can really hear a difference. Alright, now that the sample's out of the way, we can move on to the drums. For this beat, I just went for some hard trap drums, you know, like a Carnage vibe or a Ski Mass of Slump God type vibe. And I'd say like the most prominent part of my drum pattern here would probably be the hard distorted 808 or the punchy kicks, because that takes up most of the mix. Alright, first up we got the hi-hats. Now for these hi-hats, I use sort of a triplet pattern for most of these rolls you see here, like here, like up there. And to do that, you click this magnet thing up here, and it'll be a third step quantization right there. Just for those though. Here's how it sounds. Now for these little rolls right here, I like to play with the velocity. So like you see these ones are down and these ones are down too. And also another thing you could do that makes the hi-hats more interesting is going on note pan and panning it left and right. And you could hear it on the left ear or the right ear. Alright, next up we got the clap. And I just layered it with another snare to make it sound more full. Here, I'll play the clap first. And then the snare. Alright, then we got this little perk. We got an open hat. Next up we got a kick. And lastly, we got the 808. Alright, so for the kick, I put an EQ, took out some of the lows around 36 hertz, and I boosted some of the mids at 671, and then some of the highs at 3000. After that, I added a soft clipper. Basically, all you have to do is throw the soft clipper on the kick track, and it just makes it hit harder. Next up, we got the 808. For the 808, I put another EQ on the top and did a low cut around 40 hertz. Boosted the high mids at around 1,000. 
Then I added a Fruity Blood Overdrive to basically boost the sound, make it sound more fat and distorted. Then I added a Saturation Knob, basically distorts it even more. And then after that I added a Fruity Limiter, basically to sidechain it with the kick. Now what sidechaining means is that every time the kick hits, the 808 goes down. So if I play the kick right now, you see that the 808 is being pushed down every time the kick hits. So I put the threshold around the middle right there, put the knee up, and this is what it sounds like with the kick. This is what the 808 sounds like with no effects. Now this is with all the effects added. Here's what all the drums sound like together. After I finished the drums, I thought the beat was done, but I felt like it needed something more. So I added this one crash to make every drop hit harder. After adding the crash, my producer tag, and a few effects, the beat was finally done. Hey, that's the end of the video. If you like content like this, leave a like. If you want more content like this in the future, let me know in the comment section. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one.